right, let's see what we got today, man. Oh, yes, sir. I'm digging it. We got blue lace. Oh, wait a minute. We got an extra set of laces. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Now we about to do a lace swap. Let's do it. A few moments later. Can't be the only one having this issue, bro. I can't be. This is absolutely there. Just laces after laces after laces. After laces and more laces. Laces just ain't even been unearthed. Just it's crazy. But this, bruh, this is absolutely nuts. Like, but I'm always buying more laces. Or, yeah, this is crazy, bruh. Y'all got this issue? Or am I the only one? What's going on, folks, man? It's your boy, Money Matt, coming back to you again from, you already know, the set. Bruh, listen. I, Bruh, it's a struggle. And when I say a struggle, you a sneakerhead and you have more than, I'd say, more than 40 pair of shoes. We'll just stay modest at 40 pair of shoes. That's a lot for some people, but for sneakerheads, that's a mild collection, right? And what we're gonna get into today is, man, we all get excited. We get a box, we get a pair of shoes, we crack the box open, we look at the shoe. <gasps> There's an extra set of laces in these shoes. Bruh, we get all excited, we do a lace swap, and then they go to the lace graveyard. That's where they go. And then after that, you get another pair. And the cycle repeats itself. Bruh, what the hell we do with all these laces? Am I the only one who had this issue? Let's get at it, bruh. So, amongst my shenanigans, fooling around, whatever, um, I decided to do a little digging around, man. So, on average, the average shoelace is 54 inches, right? And let's say hypothetically, you have a, okay, let's do a not so hypothetically. You have a collection of, like I said, 40 pair of shoes, right? That's modest. Each shoe came with an extra set of laces that we just, for whatever reason, we don't use, right? So that's 40 sets of laces, right? times two, which is a total extra extra 80 laces, right? We doing math here, we're a little slow. Um, but if you do that, right? You multiply that number 54 inches times 80, right? You get, let's do some carry to one, um, 4,323 inches what? of laces. Yeah, don't check my math, but we good though. It's all up here, bro. Um, yeah, that's a lot of laces, bro. If you break that down, that's 360 feet. 360 feet. Let me, let me check my math here. Hmm. Yep, 360 feet, bro. That's a, a lot of length in laces. That's for 40 sets of laces, right? Now let's put that in perspective. 360 feet is the length of a football field, bro. So if you are like someone like me who has upwards of 450 pair of shoes, I ain't doxing myself, all right? That's a lot. We sitting on some laces, bro. Like we could, as a group of sneakerheads, we can do something crazy, right? <laughs> and tie all our laces together, meet another sneakerhead. I'm sure we have enough laces to go from the East Coast to the West Coast. I know it's crazy, right? But yeah, that's nuts if you really think about it. And if you look in your closet, at your laces, your extra laces, bruh. If there's anything like what you've seen from mine, bruh, 
yeah, I need to do better. That's the only thing in my life that I'm not OCD about. But, bruh, there's something got to be done about this. So my question to y'all is, what do you do with all of your laces? Because there's another thing that us sneakerheads just tend to run into all the time, bruh. Like, it just so happened I looked in that box and I seen all those laces. Do I ever use those? Because once I do a lace swap, very rarely do I go back and put the original laces in there. Very rarely. I do sometimes, but it's not one of those things that I frequent because let's be honest, who really loves to lace up sneakers once you've already worn them? Nobody really does that. Now, back in the day, again, yeah, I know. You know what we talking about back in the day? Yeah, bitch, because I'm, I'm like that. We go back in the day. But, yeah. We used to do that. We used to have to take the laces out, do whatever we did with them, swap them out, put two laces in there. Yeah. I don't really have time for that no more. I don't really do all that, but I don't really, yeah, I'm good. Once I do a lace swap or I do a one and one, one color of this shoe, one color of the other shoe, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm too lazy to go back and unlace them and do it again. Unless they just need to be clean. That's the only time I'm unlacing some shoes after that. But for me, bro, you seen what I got as far as my lace situation. Let me know what y'all do with those extra sets of laces. Do you have them all tied up and organized and all fancy so they're easily accessible? For me, that's just too much work, bro. They go in the graveyard and that's where they stay. So let me know down in the comment section, man. What do y'all do with all them damn extra laces? If you have a system in place, let me know so I can try to implement that so I can get that part of my life squared away too. Cause but right now, bruh, it's a struggle. But they out of sight, out of mind, so I don't really care. But I just thought about it because I get so excited about extra sets of laces and then they just go to the laces graveyard. So. Let me know, man, what y'all do. Give your boy some suggestions on what I can do to better my situation other than just throwing them all in the trash. So, I don't know. That's all I got for today, man. Again, if you haven't done so, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. So, you'll be the first to get the content whenever we drop it here on the set because we do ask some crazy questions. Well, not so crazy, but questions that you know may come about or some things you thought about but just never really thought about for real for real so i'm your boy money mad man i'm gonna get on out of here and go yeah i ain't got shit to do i'll let y'all make peace